Alright everybody, hope you enjoyed this Thomas video for this uh, painting here, themed after uh, Luffy from, or based off of Luffy from One Piece. Uh, that's just an old anime, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I've seen this character around a lot, I've never really watched the show, but uh, still had a fun time working on this. Uh, something you can probably notice about the painting is it's a lot smaller than a uh, normal size one, about, it's a little, uh, it's a little over half the size of a normal painting, uh, which I have one right here, the Beijing Canadian painting I did a while back. Uh, you can see uh, that it's a lot much smaller, a little over, like it's a little bit over half uh, as wide as a normal painting, uh, or long, whatever, whichever way you want to put it. Um, I did that because the image I got was this exact same size, and the the top of his hat and the the rest of his body was cut off. So I thought I'd just keep it uh, the same size, so I didn't have to bother with trying to uh, uh, those. I don't want to word that. Trying to uh, deal with the uh, spot where it cuts off, not just have it stuck in the middle of a bigger painting. Um, but I think it worked out pretty well this way. Um, so this painting right here uh, was requested. Uh, now I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right. Uh, but uh, this was requested by that chibi gamer, so uh, that's much appreciated. I had a really fun time working on this. Uh, I didn't actually take that all that long. It only took around an hour and 16 minutes, if I remember correctly, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, it, it was. This, I kind of this is kind of similar to the style I did the um, uh, the Goku painting uh, in a way, because like uh, his hair kind of goes into his hat and makes it more out. Look, make, you can see his hair uh, right here, which is just the solid black background, but the hat. Uh, if you cut the, uh, I followed the outline of the hat, which kind of makes it look like the hair is coming over it, uh, which is a cool effect. Um, I used a lot of pen on this to give more detail to his, let's see if I can get it close to the camera here, uh, close to uh, for his hands and face and everything, as you can see. Um, just to match it as close as I could to the image, same goes for his face, as you can see right there. Uh, the scar right below his one eye, his nose, and his mouth, and everything. Uh, I love making this kind of stuff that I use a lot of pen. Uh, Actually, the Goku painting was actually the very first uh, creation I ever used pen on, uh, so uh, that's pretty awesome. I've used it ever since if I had to do stuff with thin lines. I could have, I could have done the lines with duct tape, but it would have been a little bit tough as being as out thin they are, but still really awesome. Uh, so this is actually the second time this to go up today. There's going to be one more after this. Uh, the next one is going to be a custom order from a guy named uh, Clockwork Ace, so check that out later on. That's going to be really cool. He asked me to do a custom wallet for his Minecraft skin. I'm doing that in the style of the Minecraft waltz I've done so far, so if you're interested, the uh, link will be in the description below to that video. Uh, and the, earlier today, just before this one went up, I released a vlog uh, since I hit 700 subscribers uh, two days ago. Uh, I didn't get a chance to film it until now, but so if you're interested in checking that out, the uh, link will be in the description below to that video as well. Uh, so yeah, uh, I did hit 700 subscribers like I just mentioned, and a huge thank you once again. I mentioned this a lot in the vlog, but a huge thanks to you to all my subs. It's I mean I, I really appreciate the support. I mean it's it's truly amazing. Uh, uh, so yeah. Um, also, if you guys uh, do like this video, I do I I tend to mention this from time to time, but if you did like this video, hit that like button. It really helps me out, and I really appreciate it. Uh, and if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see and you've seen some other videos and you'd like to see more, uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Always welcome new subscribers and. Uh, always glad to see new guys commenting in my videos. It's always nice to see. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it for this time left. Still hope you guys enjoyed it. And once again, thanks for, to that chibi gamer again. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, sorry. Uh, I do hope you guys liked it. Like I said, and as always, just enjoy the one of those duct tape.